Sorry for the interruption. Oh, no, that's okay. How do you know so much about Liz's sister? I mean, who is she? Where is she? She's right here, do you see it? Good for you, Eve. I can't believe she's doing it. Eve, where is she? I mean, she is such a trashy, horrible woman. I'm sure that I recognize her somewhere. Where is she? Oh, you certainly will, TC. You certainly will. Oh. Whose gaze falls upon these words be well. What happened? You read the inscription on that bone even after I told you not to, didn't you? can't hear you, Mother. He's in his car halfway down the block. No, Mother. It's just you and me now. And not for long. Ethan, what happened to Ivy was not my fault. How could it not be? You and my mother were alone at the top of the stairs arguing. We heard you tell Ivy you were going to get rid of her. And I quote, for good this time. And then we heard my mother beg you not to do it? Just as she in her wheelchair came crashing down the stairs? I know, but I didn't push her down the stairs. I swear it. Well, then what happened, Teresa? What, what are you saying? She deliberately tried to injure herself? She's in B-fib. Hand me the paddles, 200. Clear? Still B-fib. Again, give me 300. Clear. Still no pulse. All right, continue CPR. What's the monitor show? Flat line. I would hold the hand of the one who could lead me places and kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet. And I would fly on the wings of a bird I knew could take me high. Still no response. Let's go to 360 and see what happens. Clear? There's no heartbeat. Answer my question, Teresa. Are you saying that my mother pushed herself backwards down a flight of stairs, that she tried to injure herself right before leaving to go home? No. I mean, I... I don't know. How dare you say that? Bad move, Teresa. Really bad. I told you, Ethan, I don't know how it happened. But I swear on my son's life that I am not to blame for this. Okay, I won't admit that I like Ivy because I don't, but I did not try to kill her. I don't know if I can believe you, okay? Not after you tried to trick Mother into looking like a scheming bitch. Well, clearly she isn't. Is that what it was, Teresa? Were you so angry? that you couldn't expose my mother as a conniving witch, that you pushed her down a freaking staircase? No, Ethan, I swear it, okay? One minute we were arguing, and then the next thing I knew, she went over the edge. Okay, you know, now is not the time for recriminations, and we don't know what happened up there. We just have to wait and, and, and pray that Ivy recovers so she can tell us. Wait a minute. What's going on? Did she get a heartbeat? Wait, wait, she, she's okay, right? We're sorry. We did everything we could. She's dead. No! Oh, my God. Mother, you can't stop. You can't stop trying to revive her. It's no use, Chief Bennett. She's not responding. If you won't try to save her, then I will. Ivy, listen to me. I won't let you die. Come on, Ivy. Come on. Tabitha, don't just stand there. Do something. Wait, 
wiping up more than water if you don't save me. Oh, you wouldn't need saving if you'd listened to me in the first place. I told you not to read the inscription on the bowl. I said that it could be dangerous, even life-threatening. But you disregarded my instructions and dissed me in the process. So now you have to suffer the consequences. Emphasis on suffer. Tabitha, I'll listen next time. <laughs> well, that's not very likely. You never listen to anyone, Kay, especially not your parents, which is why you're living here instead of at home with them where you belong. Tabitha, I swear, if you just help me, <coughs> I'll listen to you. This monster thing, what <coughs> ever isn't going to kill me. Yes, it very likely might. Yes. <laughs> Where the hell is Liz's sister? I want to give her a piece of my mind. Hey, see, please, let me just tell you the rest of the story before I tell you who she is. Let me see. I knew you couldn't go through with it. Watch me. Liz's sister, she wants her identity revealed. She doesn't want to keep it a secret any longer. As I was saying, Liz and her sister were once very close. They were each other's best friends. Liz's sister loved her very much. More than Liz could have ever imagined. No, no, she didn't. She ran off. She left me alone to defend myself against my parents. She broke trust. She betrayed me. She destroyed my faith in people and scarred me for life. She didn't do it intentionally, Liz. All your sister wanted was to be a singer. And once she made it big, she planned to send for you. And get you away from your parents and take care of you herself. Just like she promised. Only that didn't happen, did it, Eve? No. She met a man along the way. A selfish, unscrupulous man. Yeah, you already told us that. He seemed like a real bastard. He was. He seduced Liz's sister and destroyed all her dreams. No, please. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Jimmy, go. Give... One good reason not to. Well, because if, if, if you kill me, then you'll be sent to prison for the rest of your life. And Louise won't want to marry a murderer. I will not be a murderer. I won't even be arrested, Mother. No, I'm just going to tell everyone that it was an accident. A tragic accident. And then I just I mixed up the medication wrong. You know, like I was afraid I would. And, and Louise will defend me to the death. Oh. Till your death. No! Yes. Mother, no one will care that you're dead except me. <laughs> no, Betty. No, no, no. Don't hurt me. be jumping for joy. <laughs> no! No, stop, Betty. No. You've been the pain of my existence for years, <laughs> Mother. And I just, I can't wait no. to put you out of my misery. <laughs> Here. Mildred, oh, you're back. It looks like not a moment too soon. Well, oh, Trey, I was trying to give Mother her injection, whether she wanted it or not, but she's getting a little fussy. Are you trained to give injections? No! Yes. I am, Mother. There was this girl who used to work at the book cafe who had diabetes, and, well, I had to learn how to give her injections just in case there was an emergency and she couldn't do it herself. Well, even so, I'd better handle your mother's injections. That's what you're paying me for, right? Right. <laughs> and as I said before, the medication your mother is on is very potent. The wrong dose at the wrong time could be fatal. You wouldn't want that, would you? Gosh. No, I wouldn't want that. The man that Liz's sister fell in love with promised to make her a star, and for a while it seemed that he would. He got her book to sing in all the best nightclubs and introduced her to all the right people, but he was also out for a good time, and he introduced her to alcohol and party drugs. Well, just as fast as he had swept her off her feet, 
He dumped her. And Liz's sister was so despondent and heartbroken that she turned to pills and alcohol to numb the pain. And before she realized it, she was hooked. And the more that she tried to fight it, the more she saw that she couldn't. Her addiction, it had a trap like a rat in a maze. And, and she, she did things. Terrible things to support her habit. The shame of which and the depth to which she sank haunts her to this very day. Uh, if you look, excuse me, I, I couldn't help but overhear the tragic story Eve was telling, and I, I, I just want to say how sorry I am for what Liz's sister had to endure for her. The price she paid for loving a man who, who took a dream and turned it into a nightmare. Get your hands off my wife. Tabitha, please help me. Why should I? If I leave you to your fate. I'll be home free. I'll be able to do whatever I want without the risk of you running off and telling everyone that I'm a witch. Believe <laughs> me. And I won't. I promise. Oh, yes. And we all know what your word is worth, don't we, Kay? You've lied to everyone. You've lied to your family. You've lied to Miguel. You've even lied to that pesky priest. Oh, sorry, girlfriend. I just don't think I can believe you. <laughs> You're just gonna let this <clears throat> thing tear me limb from limb? Well, it could be a lot worse. Uh, how? Well, at least drowning is swift. Being burned at the stake is a slow and agonizing process. Ooh. I want the barbecue. Oh, Tabitha, I swear I'll never disobey you again. You... What? I, 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 I don't seem to be able to hear a word you're saying, Kay. I think I must have gone a bit deaf. <laughs> I'll do, I'll do uh, chest compressions while you do that. No. Chief Bennett, she's dead. You're wasting your time. No, we're not going to give up. Come on, you can do it. You can save her. I know you can. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No, after the way my mother neglected me and my sisters when we were growing up, I certainly don't have any love lost for her, okay? I sure as hell didn't want to see her die like this. You and you. You push her down the stairs like that. I mean, how could someone so smart do something so stupid? Fox. I did not push your mother down those stairs. I was the one who set the lock on her wheelchair so that she wouldn't roll off Teresa, the I landing. I checked the brakes, okay? They were off. But I put them on. I did. Look, well, you better hope that Chief Bennett and Ethan saved my mother, okay? Otherwise, you're going to walk the green mile again. Not even Alice is going to be able to save you this time. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Come on. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I told you that this was a private conversation. Well, I'm well aware of that, but I couldn't help but hear what Eve said about Liz's sister, and it, it struck a chord in me. Yeah, well, get ready to get struck again. Kitty, don't, don't let Julian speak. Thank you, Mr. Hastings. And based on what, uh, what Eve said, I don't think... Liz's sister was the one at fault. I think the fault lies with the heartless bastard who led her on and abandoned her. My God. I think he really means it. Really, Julian. Really? And I bet this man who acted so callously toward Liz's sister would by uh, this point agree. At least we could hope that he would learn from his mistakes and feel some remorse. Would this person take responsibility if he knew that Liz's sister's husband would beat him to a pulp if he ever found out who he was? Yes, I believe so. You 
know what? I just realized we're completely out of milk and tea. I know it's a lot to ask, but would you mind running to the grocery store? I just want to spend as much time as I can with Mother. She might not have much time left. I'll be happy to. No! Don't leave me alone with her. She's still trying to kill me. Oh, Timmy, please. Will you stop trying to be my conscience? I'm a witch. It's my job to do bad things, but I can't if you keep trying to make me be nice. I know you think if I mend my ways, your boss will let me come and live with you in heaven someday, but then... Suck, lad. Very suck. Promise I'll help this thing. Killing me! All right, all right. You know how hard it is for me to say no to you, don't you? <laughs> I can't hold on much longer. Okay, Kitty, I'll save you. This is positively the last time I do anything nice for anyone. Oh. Oh. Gentlemen, there's nothing more that you can do. You have to face facts. She's dead. No. Ivy can't die. Mother, please. Please come back to us. We love you so much. Don't... Don't leave us. on the floor, then I can't be standing here. It's like... Oh, my God. Am I dead? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I can't be dead. I can't be dead. Ethan, Ethan, Sam. Sam, look at me. I'm here. I'm here. I'm Ivy. I'm standing right here. I never wanted her to die. Oh, you bitch! You lying, two-faced bitch! Oh, hey, Tabitha, that's not, that's not working. Can you do something else, please? <laughs> Grateful brat. I'm sorry, I'm just so oh, freaked out, okay? Freaked out enough to have learned the lesson? I hope so. Because if you're going to be my apprentice, Kay, you have to listen to everything I say, always. Because the next time you disobey me, I may not be around to help you. And I may not even bother. Okay. That's it received. Why did that thing attack me in the first place? Oh, that's elementary, my dear. The creature sensed the good in you that all Standish women possess. 
and obviously didn't know that you were here to develop your powers for use by our side. No. No way, Tabitha. I already told you I had way too many problems with evil. Selling my soul, our house being sucked into hell by demons, being turned into a panther, zombie charity, creating zombie charity, and then having her turn on me and try to kill Miguel by having sex with him. Enough is enough. I've, I've had it. I, I can't do it. Oh, you're just upset. I mean, nearly ripped to shreds. But you'll get over it. Besides, you told the boys in the basement that you would do anything to get Miguel. I know, this but is I... not a game, Kay. You cannot have it both ways. If you want to develop your powers, then you have to renounce goodness and embrace the dark side. Do it, Kay. Do it now. I'll be with you every step of the way. Eve, did you say that Liz's sister is married? Yes, T.C. To a wonderful man. You know, if your sister is, is uh, half as beautiful as you are, then perhaps the fellow who seduced her simply couldn't help himself. I'm not saying it's an excuse, but sometimes two people have a passion for each other that they simply can't resist. Liz's sister always blamed the man I seduced her for ruining her life. Maybe she was wrong to think that. Maybe it wasn't all his fault. Sweetheart, excuse me. Honey, how could you say something like that? This man is totally to blame. He seduced Liz's sister, he, he leads her astray, then he dumps her. That's exactly what I'm afraid that would happen to Whitney or Simone. A person like that is not welcome around my family any time. Oh, poor, poor mother. She's hallucinating again. Oh, well, all the medication she's on after her heart attack is causing her to imagine these things. Sometimes it just can't be helped. Everybody's system is different. Yeah. Well, in her weakened state, the condition could be so much worse. There you go. Oh. You know, I just... I want to enjoy what precious time she has left. Oh. I understand. I'll be back from the store in a jiff. Okay. <laughs> Where were we? Oh, yeah. I was about to put you down like the rabid old bitch that you are. No, 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 Becky. No, no, come on. Why, why are you so mad at me all the time? I mean, I, I know changing my diapers is no picnic. Oh, don't play no. dumb, Mother. I hate you for trying to stop me and Luis from being together. No, look, look, I am not the one who's standing in between you and Luis Sheridan is. You know, I, 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 killing me isn't going to change that. I mean, even if I'm dead, Sheridan, Sheridan's always going to be in the way. Nice try, Mother. Sheridan's not the problem anymore. She told Luis to leave her alone, to go make a life with someone else, me. All right, all right. So maybe Sheridan did tell Luis to take a hike, and maybe maybe she meant it at the time that she said it, but just let her spend a few weeks alone together without a man to keep her bed warm at night, and honey, she is going to be changing her tune. Oh, yes, you know, she's going to give Luis that, you know, come hither look and he's going to be running back to her faster than you can tackle and, and hot tie him no mother you may have behaved that way with men but sheridan's different she's not a selfish wanton slut like you were she's noble a woman of her word noble mobile i know 
how a woman's mind works and what her body needs, and Sheridan is not going to be able to remain faithful to Antonio for a long time. Hell, it's too damn hard. Or in Antonio's case, not hard at all. Look, look. Just look how many times Sheridan has gone back and forth and back and forth between Luis and Antonio already. Look, nothing has changed, not really. You know, so, so, look, e even if Sheridan, you know, she's going to be coming back for him and you're going to be eating his dust. So killing me is not going to help you keep Luis. Not while Sheridan is still around. Yes, TC, I totally agree with you. That is exactly the kind of man that we don't want to have around our daughters. You're damn right. But as I was saying, Mrs. Sister has tried to rebuild her life, and the only man that matters to her now is her husband, who she loves very dearly. I would hate to lose because of what happened in her past, or because of the fact that she didn't tell him about it all these years. Honey, do you think that a man could love a woman like Liz's sister and accept that she did what she did in order to survive, no matter how low she sank to do it? I can't teach you the tricks of the trade if you're having second thoughts about working for our side. You know, you'll be on your own, trying to learn how to harness your powers. You won't have a clue. You'll struggle for years, never getting what you want, never getting the hunkalicious Miguel. Miguel hates evil. Tabitha, if I help you, he's going to see right through me. <laughs> really, Kay? Oh, I fooled your family for years. And generations of Bennets before them. I'll teach you how to do the same with Miguel. It's the only way you're ever going to get him, Kay. No, it's not. Tabitha, I'm, I'm pregnant with his baby. He's going to come around. Oh, well, he hasn't so far, has he? No, if but If you I... want what you say you want in life, then you better start listening to me. Tabitha, it's just that I really don't... Wait, wait, wait. wait. A special bulletin. What? Really? What? What is it? News. Red hot news. Are you sure? Oh, well, call me Clint Eastwood if you like. This makes my day. What's going on? <laughs> There's something going on at your house that you really must see. Well, I don't want to go home. My mom's there. Oh, perish the thought. No, we'll let our fingers do the walking. <laughs> Right, you can look now. <laughs> Everything's under control. Oh Who is that on the floor? Ivy Crane. She's dead. <laughs> to do was stay here with Sam and turn Ethan against Teresa. I just thought I could kill two birds with one stone by taking a little tumble down the stairs. I never meant to kill myself. Oh, Sam, Sam, please, please, you've got to save me. I can tell how much you still love me by how hard you're working to save me. Grace can see it too, and it's driving her crazy. Oh, Ethan. Ethan, you finally found true happiness with Gwen. I can't leave you now. Not with a baby on the way. Oh. 
even Fox seems upset by what's happened to me. Maybe there's hope for us after all. Oh. Of course, it would serve Teresa right if I did die. Maybe she'd actually go to the death chamber this time. Oh, no, scratch that. Really, scratch that. I, I, I don't, I don't want to die. No, please, Sam, please bring me back. Oh, yes, yes. Let your lips be the first thing I feel. And let your eyes filled with love be the first thing I see. Come on, Sam, save me. Why didn't I think of it before? As long as Sheridan's alive, she's a threat to my being with Louise. She could change her mind at any minute and just want him back. Yeah, and Betty, that's why Louise will go back to her. He's done that before. So killing me is not going to do any good, you know, not with you snagging Louise. <laughs> Sheridan's the problem. She always has been. But this, you know, honey, there's nothing you can do about that. <laughs> Can't I, Mother? What, what do you mean? A answer me. What are you thinking? about to knock on our door. Oh. It's the obstacle herself, Sheridan. And she's all alone. Oh. Huh? Oh, no. Oh, no, Betsy. No, I didn't mean. Oh, no. No, merciful heaven, please, no. What have I done? No, what, what have I done? No. What do you think, honey? I mean, if you were Liz's sister's husband, would you be able to find it in your heart to forget what she had done out of desperation and forgive her for her past? I mean, would you continue to let them live as a family, whole and happy? Dead? <laughs> yes. Mm, that's no spirit walking around in a panic. <laughs> Mortals can't see the other side, so those people in the room aren't aware of Ivy's presence. But because you're here with me, you can see it all. Someone just died and I'm watching their spirits? Mm -hmm. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> and this is too bizarre. Oh, come now, Kay. As I recall, you were trapped in hell a while back. <laughs> this is Dullsville compared to that. <laughs> Even so, I have oh, no desire fine, to... Oh, fine, fine, fine. Suit yourself. Oh, my. Oh, look at the way your father is cradling Ivy's lifeless body in his arms. <laughs> Ivy, please don't die. Come back to me. Please. Ivy's really a goner. Oh, I guess this means my mom and dad will be getting back together now that she's not there to break them up anymore. You know, your mother has genuine feelings for David Hastings. But without Ivy to prod him along, chances are your parents will reconcile. Don't. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves, do we? Let's see what happens next. One, two, Come on. three. Four, five, it's no use six, to keep that. There's still no pulse. No. Ivy. Listen. Don't you leave me. You hear me? Ivy. Don't you leave me. You were my first love. I can't lose you. I can't lose you. Oh my God. I want to come back, Sam. I do. But I don't know how. I, I can't. I don't know how. Oh, God. Please. Please, please. 
please let me go back. Please let me wake up in his arms. Let this be the thing that brings us back together. Please. Fine. Oh, fine then. Just beam me up. Okay, what? Turn on the bright light that I am supposed to walk towards. Hello? Are you asleep at the switch? I've read all about the afterlife. I know that there's supposed to be a big tunnel with a bright light that I am supposed to walk towards, and I am supposed to feel safe and warm and loved. And if I can't have Sam and my son in my life, then go ahead, just take me now. What are you waiting for? What's up with that? It's supposed to be a tunnel, not a funnel. Tell us who Liz's sister is. It's obvious that Liz knows, so why don't you let us in on a secret? And tell us who her husband is, too. Ivy's plans to steal Sam, race or backfire.